Hello, everybody. Uh, this is our Washington again. Once again, this is our, our Washington rant. Um, we are continuing with the topic of the law of love. Ever since last week, there been there been so many things that I've been pondering about since my last on rant dealing with the law of love. One the one of the biggest issues that I've been on really does does been pondering about is the whole point of the relationship. I've not been noticing that that it's like a a spiritual warfare that's going on with relationships. I've been noticing through this through these some past generations um, that love love has been altered. You know, uh, we 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 know and we understand through biblical terms and through spirituality that that um that love is, is actually. God himself is the creator because God is love. But lately, um, we, everything has been altered. It's been doctorate. You know what I'm saying? It's been changed around. It's been conforming to a, a new form of love. And this new form of love that I'm talking about is more of like it's either selfish or it's self-righteous. One of the two. And I've been trying to trying to figure out why why is it that way? Why is this new form of love selfish and self righteous? You know, or or even both. And the conclusion that, that I came up with is because um, well, what I said earlier in in one of my rants saying that uh, everyone is hurting. Well, when I'm saying saying about everyone is hurting is that at one point in time, people have have dealt with. Traumatic events that happen in their relationships. Whether if um, you 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 been through a abusive relationship when you was growing up, or when when you got older you became um, start dating. You was using a traumatic relationship where where the dude was you know very abusive to you, whether it's verbal, physically, or, or both. And also just dealing with other relationships as well, you know. Um, that that ultimately ended up with the relationship either breaking up or being divorced. So there there are so many people out here that there was so much traumatic stuff in their in their life, you know what I'm saying? They, and and they're hurting. They're hurting bad. They they want to believe in love. They hope in love, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the but at the same time. They, they 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 see love as something intangible in other words something that can't be achieved no more something that um that doesn't exist anymore due to how everything's going on even right now now I'm now saying that um that everyone was hurting that then also it also seems like the universe itself nature itself and the universe itself is actually hurting in rebellion too, you know, just like how we, how we deal with different different weathers and stuff like that is going on and stuff right now, you know. So, so the whole thing about it is that everybody is hurting, everyone is hurting. So, the point of it now is that we we have as human beings as humanity, we we, we have two choices that 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 we need to make. The first choice is this: we could either first choose to seek a new form of love which which is what I'm talking about right now with this self-righteous love where everybody just want to do their own thing um, the selfish love where it have to be according to my standards only and I'm not going to conform to nobody else I'm not going to reciprocate I'm not going to do none of these things if you ain't going if I'm not going to do none of these things if you don't like it oh well you can hit the door I don't care you know so you can either choose that type of standard or you could choose to walk the uh, the narrow path. And the narrow path is actually the, the hardest path. And that narrow path is truly seeking out unconditional love, what, what it really is, what it really means to you. You know, to be honest with you, Ron, I, I, I do these rants and stuff all the time, you know, and my whole purpose of doing these rants is to let people gain a different perspective to allow them to think 
mentally and spiritually, you know what I'm saying? So that could be aware of themselves. It ain't for me to try to manipulate you or to control you. That's why in my rants, I rarely use scriptures or anything Bible based in my rants because I'm not trying to manipulate you in any type of way. I'm um, I'm not trying to manipulate you. I'm not trying to, uh, actually, I'm not even trying to persuade you in any type of way. You know, I just want you to, to hear, hear what I got to say. You just make a choice about it. You know what I'm saying? If, if what I'm saying is not, not your cup of tea, then it does what it is. It's just not your cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? But however, if you listen to what I'm saying, then the next process would be for you to go seek out the truth for yourself. And so that's why I'm challenging people. If you want to want to go on this straight and narrow path, just like with me, um, I decide. I, I decided that even though it seemed like love doesn't exist no more, um, dealing with different past relationships, you know, I've been in, uh, you know, different people that tell me that, you know, they losing hope on love, you know, um, um, some some of my friends and stuff like that, they saying that they don't want to even be married, you know, all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, I can't change the the mindset of a person, but however. For us, for my, for for myself, I can what I can offer is to be a living, breathing example that that unconditional love does exist, even when it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Because even right now, for me, it uh, is it's really hard for me to love unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? It is really difficult for me to unlove unconditionally. For the simple fact, there's so many people who are selfish and self-righteous. Then, then the thing about it is that so many people are so selfish and self-righteous, it puts me into that mindset. It's like their energy starts slowly transferring to me. It's like they draining my positive energy and replacing it with their negative energy and stuff about how the way they feel. And so the next thing you know, I'm starting to have a, 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 um, a self-righteous mindset or a selfish mindset about love. You know what I'm saying? Which that which I don't want that at all. You know what I'm saying? So it is very it, it, this this um this love thing is a very, very delicate situation. But me, I'm 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 choosing them, I'm choosing the the narrow path. I'm choosing to want love unconditionally. The reason why I'm personally choosing to love unconditionally because I know without a shadow of doubt that the most high God loved me unconditionally. It, it, can be, it could have been so many times where, where God himself could have did anything. And he'd been righteous in, it, in his um, understanding of doing it. You know, he could have, um, and I could have died at the age of three, uh, which a lot of people don't know that uh, unless you're my closest family. Well, well, I had a very traumatic, uh, matter of fact, I think I posted about this almost a couple of years ago, about me having a traumatic illness, a world form of measles, where... I could have been taken out right in the nerve, you know what I'm saying? But through him, he figured, he felt that I had a had a purpose and a plan, you know what I'm saying? So so that's so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm um I'm fulfilling that purpose and plan even right now as I go through life situation. It been so many times that I could have been ran through by a car, I could be struck by lightning, I do dumb stupid stuff, you know what I'm saying? But yet and still, um. The Creator, the Most High God, loves me so much that every single day He He uh, watches over me and He take care of me. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't see Him, even though I don't uh, I don't speak to Him physically as I'm doing with child and stuff. Even even though um, I can't touch Him, I can't smell Him, or taste Him, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm not you know intimate with Him and stuff. Um, but regardless of that, He's still doing that for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not my own. Not per se just my own being that allows me to exist, you know what I'm saying? But it's more than that. It's a greater thing than that, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm choosing to go through this path of love unconditioned because I know that and I know that my father love all of us unconditionally. So if my father loved it unconditional, you know what I'm saying, that he did it for me, why why not I can't do it for my other brothers and sisters as well, you know what I'm saying? And it's another thing too that that really um uh, it I ponder about this and it bothers me a whole lot is this is that in relationships it is very hard for you to make the necessary uh, reasonable sacrifices or reasonable reciprocations with which are with your um with which your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, you know, or significant other, you know what I'm saying? But but 
when it comes to your children, if you have children and stuff, right, you will you will literally die for your children right then and there. You know, so without shadow of doubt, if your if your child say right now, I'm hungry. You'll make sure that you go do whatever it takes to feed that child. If you if y'all homeless, you make sure you give that child the last of your last just so they could eat. You know what I'm saying? You you want you you make sure you cook, you clean, you do whatever just so they could be taken care of. For the simple fact, you love them unconditionally, just like your child loves you unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? Like you can tell your child right now, I'm not gonna give you that Xbox. They may get mad, they may complain about it, but ultimately their feelings or love is not gonna change for you. They're gonna I always love love their daddy. They always gonna love their mama unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't change. You know what I'm saying? But but what what happens that when when the child get older, become an adult, what happens is that they start getting reprogrammed. You know what I'm saying? To think differently and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You you know you know what I mean? So huh? You you know what? Um, I think that us as adults. That we have to end up re re reverting back to how we are as a child or deal with each other as those how we are a child, how we was innocent, it didn't matter and stuff like that. Instead of putting so many rules and regulations on ourselves and others, you know what I'm saying? I think that we, we probably have to go and re revert back to that, that childlike innocence, you know what I'm saying, where you regardless of the fact, you know what I'm saying, you still love the person. I'm I remember um a couple of my friends that I'm still friends with, they're my brothers. You know what I'm saying? I remember we used to fight and and uh fuss and fight and everything. Every single time we're we're fuss and fighting all this stuff there. You know what I'm saying? But yet it's still at the end of the day, after we fuss or after we fight, we make up and we cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, and it, it is that. That's what you did when you was little, you know what I'm saying? You have a disagreement, you fight about it. You know, score up then giving each other doubt, you cool. So so why not we can't do that as a ducks, loving each other, loving our significant others. Cause you want we gonna always disagree on something. We always gonna not agree on everything, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not thinking alike, we're not alike. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you come back and be cool with each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you be cool with each other and that's that's what it is. You I mean that that's what a child does. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's probably the the solution to the equation about this law of love thing for us to revert, come come back to each other as a child, just like um in in the wrong Bible stuff. How we come back to God, we come back to God as a child as well. You know what I'm saying? That have a child mentality. You know what I'm saying? Thinking as a child, breathe like that, talking like a child. You know what I'm saying? And does love and unconditionally. You know, or maybe not. You know. So I'm, I'm out of time. Until then, fight faith with faith, and I'm praying with y'all. Love y'all.